sin than night, brothers and sisters, they grant your ever present need. And everyone else has a need tonight. Amen. For a closer walk, for that still small voice to speak to us down in our soul tonight. Amen. Amen. And God is here to grant that for us, uh, for fulfill that, 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 that space of loneliness in your heart. Come on, son. Come on. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. If you have your Bible, get with me in the book of Jonah. The first chapter. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God for Brother Grant. We were half over and out having some fellowship with him. And I tell you, brother, there ain't too many things Brother Grant can't do. Thank God for him. Amen. Yes. He's one of the best. May God bless him. Yes, sir. May God bless each and every one because everybody in here have a gift. Amen. Amen. But you just got to get a revelation of knowing what your gift is. Amen. 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 Now, this is what the Bible said him. Not going to hold you long tonight, but just wanted to get that on to the word of God. In Jonah, the first chapter. Now the word of the Lord came unto Jonah, the son of the Amorite, saying, Arise, go to what? Nineveh, that great city. Amen? And cry against it, for there is wickedness that come up before me. Oh my God. But Jonah rose up to flee. Unto a tarsus uh -oh. from the presence of the Lord, uh -huh. and he went down to Joppa, uh -huh. and he found a ship going to Tarsus. Uh -oh. So he paid the fare there, and went down into it to go with them into into Tarsus. Amen. From the presence of the Lord. Uh -huh. From the presence. Of the Lord. Yeah. Let us bow our heads in prayer. Lord. Heavenly Father, indeed, Lord, we count it such a blessing, Lord. Bless your name, Jesus. Lord, what a blessing it is, Lord, that we can be in church tonight, Lord. What a blessing it is, Lord, that we can have all our body parts, Lord. All our senses, Lord, that you bless us with, Lord. Lord, our mind, Lord. Lord, that we, Lord, can regulate, Lord, and figure things, Lord, and, and do things, Lord, even our minds, Lord. But, Lord, we were told, Lord, that we must have the mind of you, Lord. Yes. But, Lord, we are promised tonight, Lord, Lord, that by the obedient, Lord, of, of just the word, Lord, that we have the authority, Lord, to make our bodies obey our confession, Lord. And the night, Lord, that this any sick here tonight, Lord, or wounded by the enemy, Lord. May they speak to their weakness, Lord. May every individual, Lord, speak to Lord, whatever battle they've been in tonight, Lord. Lord, may be yoke, Lord, that 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 yoke the people, Lord, may they be broke tonight, Lord. There's any time to say the Lord, the night, Lord, will you give the people the freedom, Lord, that they can worship you tonight, Lord. In spirit and in truth, Lord, in those tired bodies, Lord. May God tonight, Lord, you say something to help us all, Lord, as we press the battle, Lord. For we're looking to hear from you tonight, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for the guests coming tonight, Lord. But most of all, Lord, we're thanking you for coming tonight, Lord. For we pray in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. You can be seated. Amen. A lot of people would think that Joan was in a bad place as this. A lot of people would think that Joan was out of the will of God. Amen. A lot of people would think, my precious brothers and sisters, that Joan was, was, was running for, for, for what God had told him to do. But he did. And the Lord called
Amen. Because of your wickedness had come up before me. Yeah. Now, a lot of people, no doubt, some of you all don't know where Nineveh was at. Uh, probably not really got into the depth of what Nineveh was. Nineveh was a Gentile city. Amen. That's right. Did you hear me? Amen. <coughs> No, sir. Because first of all, they were considered as heathen. That's right, a bunch of heathen. Out of worship. Amen. We are bad people. Amen. Y'all don't hurt me tonight. Amen. That, that did any everything you want to do. Yeah. But guess what? That was a predestinated seed down in now. Yes, and God bought his prophet. Amen. Yes. Amen. Just 
Is that right? Yeah. We know God is still that same God. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. So we make up. Why is people running from the presence of God so much? Why, 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 why are we running so much? Huh? Don't you know you can't run from God? No. You can't run. The only thing you do is make it hard on your own self. And the harder you make it on yourself, the worse the world is going to get. When God in many times, the Holy Spirit has come and God provided a place to run and knock on people's heart. You know what it is? Turn it down. Run is on the presence of Almighty God. Can you imagine a man born girl running from God? And God knocking on the door. Keep it at the door and door. And God tapping on people's doors in their heart. Let me
sister. Yes. A man running from the presence of God. What about a church that ain't supposed to be where they're supposed to be at? Huh? Did you know what Brother Brown said? Brother Brown said that the rapture is supposed to have been in your place. Yes, sir. Amen. So what's the him? Amen. Who him? What what's the him? We don't pray like we used to. Amen. We don't study like we used to. We don't agonize with God like we used to. He's old Brother Mullen. Yes, I do. If you do, you'll prove it. Your life is short. Let me tell y'all stuff about a minister. A minister can tell. Shine thing. Oh my. And this 
just a nigga, you like shiny things, but some shiny things will take your life. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then suck all God's spirit from out you, brother. Yes, sir. Huh? Joel was scared. Don't say, I ain't going down here to God for about the case. First name of me, they come crazy. <laughs> Bad some people down there. And all the miles that they serve and all the things they do, I'm just doing for that. I'm not going down here. So you know what God said? You ain't gonna be blessed until you go down there. You're gonna be blessed. Uh -huh. you, hey, look, ain't nothing gonna go right until you do that. Huh? Amen. Go on down here. Guess what? There's one thing about God. If God tells you to do something, God ain't backing up on his word. That's what I mean, If God tells you to do something, you better do it. Amen. Because guess what? The only thing you do is make your own bed hard. Amen. 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 It's going to get hard and hard and hard. Amen. Until you do what the dust says the Lord. Amen. And John, when he got a revelation, the Lord God ain't going to let me go. You know what he did? When he got his bed, his bed, his bed his look around and see all the weeds and see weeds and stuff like this there. I all that, he said, lying down. Lying down. You know what I'm saying? He remembered the prayer. Amen. Yes, sir. He remembered the prayer. I saw him. He remembered the prayer. He said, look, and I just looked at the whole hip and prayed. Yes, I'm minding now. This is one thing every Christian got to realize. When you get in trouble, don't forget. Come on, pray. All get the prayer. Don't forget. Yes, sir. How to pray. Amen. You know what Jonah did? Jonah knew how to contact God. Oh, yes, sir. He's Jonah a son of a prayer before God. God come down in the belly of the well. Yes, sir. And when you come down in the belly of the well, so you know the well here. The well got nausea. Yeah. The well got nausea. It got sick on the stomach. Yes, sir. Y'all ain't never been that way. I don't know about it. Yeah. <laughs> the well got sick, look, I got to go. By that time, you know where the well was? Probably about nine tenths of a mile to them. Amen. Huh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Getting Jonah at his destinated place. Yes, sir. That's right. Yeah. Right there. It's yeah. getting Jonah where Jonah needs to be. Yeah. He was getting Jonah. Yes, God has a way of getting you where you need to be at in him. Yes, yes, sir. Regardless of what it takes. God have a way of getting our attention. Yes, and when God gives your attention, brothers and sisters, guess what? You have to tell nobody. You know you said that to God. The only God can do this here. Only yes. God. But good enough. And nobody knows your heart but God. Yes. And nobody knows what you think but God. Yes. And nobody knows your spirit but God. Yes. Huh? Yes. Oh, nobody can tell you more about you than God. Yes. Y'all was scared over here. He didn't want to go to the Gentiles. He was a Jew. Yeah, he had nothing common with it. But that was his task. That was his job. God told him to do that. To go around and cry out with the world. Cry out to him. They're wicked, driven, ungodly, put a dog, that and up. Go down there and cry. Oh. Can you imagine a Jew going down there and getting a dog? Why not? All they join those down looking at look, some people gonna stone me. They gonna kill me. How are they gonna do that when he was in the will of Almighty God? Alright. Come on, Chuck. We are in the perfect will of God. Get a revelation there. I was telling you, we as the power of Christ, we are in the perfect will of God. Amen. Amen. And call him a brother down and say, ain't nothing can harm you. Amen. Nothing. Huh? No weapon. A little statement. Nothing. Nothing. Oh. 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 Amen. Oh. Amen. Just, for, just, for, just, for, just for a little while. Just for a little while. Just for a little while. Wait a minute. The Holy Ghost is down. You know the Holy Ghost is coming back down. Just soothe that thing. He says, I'm here. Amen. I'm here at my tongue. Yes. That's one thing about the Holy Ghost. If it comes, it'll come. Yes. He'll take care of everything. He'll go down in your body and he'll every fight in your body. Thank you, Lord. Huh? He'll go down, my brother and sister, where the devil thinks he's locked in there and you're unlocking. Yes. Come on! Amen. Come on! Right back in the prayer of him. Amen. 
there now. Now you can be a witness. Amen. Now you can't be a witness while you're running from me. You can't, you can't do nothing. Look, God, you know, Brother Brown said, I'm not going to hold you about the few minutes. Brother Brown said, God cannot use a coward. Amen. That's what he said. Amen. You know, a lot of times, a lot of people don't like witness with people on the job or different other places. God can't use you. That's right. God, God don't, don't worry about it. You, you shame him, don't worry. He'll be ashamed of you. Amen. Huh? Right. God cannot use you as a coward. No, sir. Huh? God ain't dealing with you you still can't witness about it. All right. You got to cast all that down to go, I'm saved. Amen. Amen. Plan on this place. Yes, sir. Sometimes no life don't it. You ain't living good enough to, to stay. Go ahead. Cast the fire by it. Amen. And let your life come up to it. Huh? Tell people, look, I'm saved. Save. Amen. I'm saved. God save me. Yes. God save huh? me. You think I need to be back there if you're all in the hypocrite? Why don't you do that? No, no, sir. No, if you sir. live in a dirty life, uh, you ain't a hypocrite. You ain't a big boy more than me. Amen. But you say, every day, God bless you. Good morning. Amen. I'm saying, be wrong on sometimes, but guess what? That's God the way God ordained for us. Oh, yeah. We cannot continue. Running from the truck Because guess what? You're going to run out the way. Amen. Huh? Amen. I'm getting ready to close, but let me tell you this here. Brother Brown said that the door of mercy is closing. The Spirit of God is rapidly, saying like he said, leaving the Gentile nation and going back to the Jew. You read the paper? Did you know that they already done got the Catholics already done got their Pope? Yes. Not our Pope, got their Pope. Yes. We don't need a Pope. Yes. They got their Pope, we got Almighty God. Yes. Huh? Yes. You come out of another country, but that's all right, don't make me no difference. I'm, I'm here to serve God. Yes. Not the Pope, but yes. huh? Can you imagine what, what's going to take place in a few days, brothers? Everybody's not in. You'll be fighting your way in. Get in, brother and sister. If you ain't in, get in. Quit run. You don't know what the run is going. You heard the message preached day and night, and you still run. The Lamb Book of Life, page twenty-three. You know, Brother Brown said here, and we're going to let you go early tonight. Brother Brown say, shame on you Christians, call yourself this. This is what happened when we went from the presence of Almighty God. Huh? We were first and foremost, we worried too much. Too much. We worried too much over a whole little thing. We, we pray about it, okay. and we come right back and dig up that prayer. <coughs> That's right. The same prayer you pray, and that's when I always did it right back up. Ain't no value in that. No, when, you, when you submit a prayer to God, leave it there. Yes, amen. Ain't no need battling on that. Ain't no need tapping on that. Leave it there. Ain't no need to pray. If you see in that prayer, right, ain't no need to pray in that prayer again. That's true. That's a, that should be a done deal. So, deal. Once you pray, that's it. When you apply what God told you about, that should be it. This is what it said in blue. Shame on you, Christians. Shame on you, Christians. Shame on us. They call me. Shame on me. They call themselves Christians. And, okay. and go around to weary. Well, I don't know. And if I go to church, oh, you are poor excuse. Poor excuse. Let me tell you, lift up your head. Yes. Lift it up. Straighten up your chest. Yes. Wait, 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 wait. Hallelujah. If, he, if he's, now this ain't me, this brother Brown. Yes, sir. I'm not saying that this is him. Word. Can you do that when he just said? Word. Can you lift up your head? Lift up your head. Straighten up your chest. Oh, my. Oh, you faith. Faith is the boss. That's right. Faith has hairs on its chest. Yes, your faith is your boss. That's your boss. Your That's the woman when you in a storm. Yes, Got to ride to the cage and yes, every devil to stand out. All right. Faith. And tell every devil to stand out.
and die. Oh, thank you. 
Yes, it's so hot. So hot. They came much hotter. They came much hotter. Don't get caught. Boy, you all come to church. The message will get caught with you. I mean, the, the message will get caught with the people that call themselves Christians. Christian is to be prophesied.
job to do. And that is face up to our responsibility. You know what Brother Mullins was our responsibility? Pray to God and ask him what is your responsibility as a Christian. Because I can't tell you, but he can. Yes, sir. Pray to God and ask him, Lord, what is my responsibility as a Christian? Amen. What am I supposed to be doing? What is my job? That's it. Not a next man's job. That's what a lot of people got in trouble at trying to do somebody else's job. What is my job? What do you call me to do? Amen. And if God don't, this but more than that, he'll tell you. He'll tell you. He'll tell you. He'll tell you. And they had to do it. But that's the reason they were set in the hour. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Love the night. Yes. A man went from the front of God. That's the same for that. There's so many people, there's so many children, there's so many fathers, mothers, and dads are running from the presence of Almighty God. And don't even much know it, as soon as they get through running. If God met Moses when he was 80 years old running, guess what? God made it. Running down. God will run yes, you down, yes. brother and sister. But you know what they, brother Van also said? Brother Van said, you can run sometimes. Oh, just run, right? Run mercy, right? Don't lie. There's come a time when God can knock on your heart so much, brother, times. brother, sister, man. Until you just ain't gonna live right, you know what you do? Just pass it right on by. You see that you ain't gonna do right, don't wanna do right? It's like when the man, once somebody testified to me on the job, yeah, and I know you was telling the truth, I think it was right here, about the man that, uh, uh, when God took one of his servant home. Because he didn't wanna, he didn't wanna do what God did, he didn't wanna face up the responsibilities. His brother, his brother right here. And when he did, he went out, I think he went out and brought him a case of beer. Amen. Huh? He, he went did. out and brought him a case of beer. Yes, sir. Got drunk. <clears throat> you know what God did? Brother Brown said, God took his servant home. Because he didn't want to face up to responsibility. Did y'all hear me? I'm pretty close. Because he didn't want to face up to responsibility. And a lot of times, our young folks, our elder folks, our brothers and our sisters don't think they too young or too old that they can't face up to God's responsibility. But guess what, sister and brother? You are right at the age to face up to God's responsibility. God can call you just as well as he call anybody else. And to assure you sitting in on knowing the church, God is calling you just like call everybody else. Nobody here is exempted from not being called by Almighty God. Nine o'clock. Let us stand up here. And I hope you got something out here. Amen. 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 Yeah, we appreciate our brother William for coming and being with him. Yeah. Like I said, he, he, the man was on fire telling everybody, I'm saved. Amen. I'm saved now. For well, what we believe and what he believed. If he was going to the nomination church and he could testify, brother, give him to tell everybody. I got I'm saved. I got saved last night. Thank you, Lord. Huh? And if he can do that, brother and sister, what about you and I? What is our testimony? What would our testimony be? Huh? You think God can give you this message for you just for nobody but just you to know, sit up and read and listen to it and you don't tell nobody? We stop getting inspired. We start to start taking off and doing what God will call us for our responsibility. Yeah. Huh? For a good example, I'm finna close. Look at church. Look at every church now. You know what the people are doing? Got one me. You know the great example of what the people are doing now? They're falling by the wayside. In every church, people just fall away. People that have been in church for years and years and years, you know, they do something come. Well, Brother Adam said it. Brother Adam said, if you're not called for this, something come and get you. And take you right away out of church. You'll be sitting in church and something come and took you right from out of the presence of Almighty God. That's a good sign that you ain't gone. But though that sign cry, though that still got that heart, those that still got that burden. Those that can stand up and call white, white, and black, black. Those that can fight the devil. And let them know, this is it, buddy. You getting off right here. You just, you just shot your last wall. This is it. I, me and you ain't got nothing in common. Just like a man on the job, you, you, you know, you think you can help some people, but some people you just can't help. And there's one thing I cannot take as a man cursing all day. I just can't take that. Everywhere you come out your mind, you cursing it and calling everybody 
Um, all the words and stuff like that. I don't have to be in your prayer. I don't have to be in it. Every woman has to be. I can't take that. I can't take that. It came that far for me telling her, no, I know you got mamas and sisters. You got mamas and sisters. But I know without a call, we've been up to each other. <laughs> How can you do that? You know why? Because some people ain't got no godly fear for nobody. Nobody ain't got no godly fear. So what you do, you separate yourself. So what I did, I separate myself. And when I separate myself, he went to talk about me. And when he went to talk about me, you know what he did? He ran over 2,000 pieces. Bad work. If I tell you, I'm not mistaken, he got a warning on May God richly bless you on the little message of man running from the presence of Almighty God. Don't run, church. Don't run. If God is calling you, don't run. Because you can't outrun God. No, sir. There's so many on try, but they can't run. Don't, don't, don't run from it. Accept what God has done for you. Accept it that He's your Savior. Accept God for who He is. It's good to have Steve in church now. It's just keep coming, son. Keep coming. Keep coming. It's an honor. Keep coming. Don't let nothing stop you, son. Don't let nobody stop you. Some of us seen so much. Don't let nothing stop you. If God is dealing with you all, you don't know your children that need school. Don't y'all let school stop y'all because you're going to school. Serve God. You can serve God going to school. Yeah. You can serve him better going to school. That if you want to serve God going to school, let them know that you're a Christian. They'll leave you alone. Right. You won't have to worry about a lot of them. Because they say, first thing is you can get a little pick at every now and then, but tell them I'm a Christian. How many can stand up with help the chest like faith and say, I'm a Christian? I'm born again. You know, they say, okay then, try it sometime. It'll work. It don't make me no difference if I don't speak to me on the job. So when you're loved in, just go to pray. Something I love to do. Pray. You love him tonight. Yeah. Let's give the Lord a wave off of me. Brother Wayne, it's good to have you tonight. You say you was coming tonight. You say you coming. That's the pastor coming. God bless you. You must be honest.
in Jesus name Amen I want everybody to remember Brother Wallace Sister Christine and her children on the plane tomorrow and hitting them and take a pray that they God give them a safe trip over the airways, byways, and everything. Let them be great witnesses for the Lord. Because you must be honest.
Yeah.